Here is a case study where the Gujarat government has shown its effectiveness in implementing a, a socio-economic scheme for the first time in the country. So I am dealing on behalf of my company. Though it is a company, but it is not the listed one. It is simply a, it is a company promoted by an, another government company. So my topic was defined it as a uh, micro-irrigation uh, in Gujarat, a case study for state effectiveness. Though I am not an expert on the state effectiveness, uh, to a bit of my knowledge, I am trying to correlate the state effectiveness with success of uh, my scheme in Gujarat. The state effectiveness is vital for a democratic transition and I think all our economists here, they know everything. I come to the last point. This is state building. State building is often is often vaguely defined as a process in which the state accumulates power. But in my case, it is not the accumulation of power, it is simply accumulating only infrastructural power, not despotic power. Then you come to the, what is meaning of the state effectiveness. So as per uh, one of the author I mentioned below, these are the six functional capacity one should have effective state. So I think I don't want to go the details of all these six capacities. I will come to the last point. That is the one of the functional capacities to distribute resources more effectively. What we are doing currently through my company is this last function. So I will come to the how the government of Gujarat has intervened in 2001 when the Modi first time took the chief minister case and it was his dream this company has been formed. Uh, it is uh, basically my company is basically a uh, dispersing company for the uh, state as well as the central uh, subsidy on micro irrigation. Uh, there was a lot of ambiguity in the government as questions are told. So all the characters are existing before the formation of this company. So the government wanted in 2001, uh, sorry 2005, they wanted to put all these negative points in one and want to give it an uniform mode in single agency. So this is how the company is formed with the help of uh, GNFC. This is also state-owned company. GSFC is also state-owned and GSC is state-owned. And there was earlier with the GSFC, we have one company called the Gujarat Agro Processing Company. So it was in the Darwin states. So that was revived with the help of the government of Gujarat. So how, what are the major intervention that was really done by the uh, state government, especially in the form of uh, our ex-CM and now current PM. It was his dream. He personally drafted the GR and, and responsible for this formation of this company. The first and for, foremost, uh, what we have visualized this, it is not the uh, simply intervention in place of interference. So they intervened to formation of my company, but they have not interfered in any functioning of my company. So as on today I can claim the political interference in my company is nil. Single window approach because you all of you know to claim a subsidy or to get a benefit from a government how many steps you have to follow and you have to move from pillar to pillar. So it is a single window approach they have established through this formation of this company. The third one is the government mode. What Christians are told that so we are moving in totally opposite direction. The entire administ administration of this subsidy distribution has been transferred from the government mode to corporate mode. I will come in later slide ki what is what we are following exactly under the corporate mode. Then the fourth intervention is major policy decision by an unique GR. The GR was also unique compared to the other state government what they are following right now in this scheme. <coughs> Can you please explain what is a GR and how does it play a role in the working of your I, company? I will, come, I will come in my next slide. GR means government resolution. Then the MIS, I mean micro irrigation scheme, though I think in agriculture ministry it was considered simply as a part of scheme. But what government did was consider that it is not simply a scheme, but it is a mode of irrigation. What I want to say is that there is a different kind of irrigation you can follow in a field, flood irrigation, canal irrigation, through pipe irrigation, tube well irrigation. So for the first time in the country, I can boost 
this micro irrigation was considered as a mode of irrigation it was a drastically change in an approach which the government usually considers in his formation of the scheme the sixth intervention is it is entirely changed from one department to another department abhi just we heard from the tax department there is a lot of problem in the uh, coordination and other things so what he did was that the entire scheme was transferred from the agriculture department to irrigation department so that irrigation policies can be rightly addressed through this scheme the seventh intervention is uh, even case of unida krishnan sir was told that a delegation of authority and responsibility has been entirely given to the company i don't have any interference from the government side then the djrc will have relatively higher autonomy in case of recruitment in case of formulation of policy regarding my company running as far as my company runs on the basis of a company mode i mean profit or to earn myself nobody is interfering in my company function then the ninth is from the government side the highest priority was given to this scheme this is also one of the state intervention we can uh, say here uh, himself in the initial period modi sir was himself was looking after this scheme for entirely 5 years then the this scheme was and uh, based on the business model so i will come to later it is entirely thought on the business model uh, costing the government to nil government is not going to bear any expenditure for running this scheme and we can also say that this is the first ppp model in a social scheme you might have heard in infrastructure road building and other things but here is the case for a social scheme in the country the 12th point is that last time when i was presenting this paper to fertilization of india there was a demand that the government should uh, uh, give an authority to the third party inspection agencies but here we can boost in way back 2005 government of gujarat has reposed a faith to accept the third party inspection agencies for the work done which is normally not a practice in any government mode for their uh, routine uh, uh, government uh, monitoring and system then the third one is the field and technical information multi stage monitoring system which has been uh, instituted by the government itself and then the introducing principle of pipo it is very important if you come to a social scheme where who is going to get a benefit first so the our principle is first in and first outside for the entire state this again the one of the major deviation from the government scheme is that this operation of this scheme has been linked with the market process i mean all the prices are related with the Um, market prices whenever the, there is an increase in the market price we are going to increase whenever there is a, a reduction in the market price we are also going to uh, we are also reducing the price of the particular component then this is a uniform mode so there is no need to go from one pillar to another for a farmer to get uh, his work done then uh, uh, right now said that there is a uh, inference in the it infrastructure also i have been given a full free hand to introduce it at any level and any form in any kind then the last and foremost is transparency this entire system is put on the net i have my own uh, uh, it department it is hardly manned by five people or six people and anybody can track the uh, progress of his application i know his work where it has been uh, pending or here so just now ask her what is gr it is the this is the gr this is the unique gr in the sense that if you go to any state there are a n number of gr to claim a subsidy for a particular crop so there is a restriction on the crop there is a restriction on the area there is a restriction on the amount of subsidy you can claim from apart from this cash basis and economic basis but here is the gr there is no restriction on any area you can claim there is no restriction on any crop there is no restriction on any type of um, micro irrigation system there is no restriction of any supplier because in some of the states they will allow the some supplier company to a particular district so that you have to go to that particular company but here is a market force whoever is doing the better job whoever is going the brand value he is going to be selected the other riding future given by again itself it credit goes to our uh, xcm and current uh, pm he kept an condition because everybody want agriculture connection so he kept an overriding feature 
who were wanting agriculture connection on the top priority, you should take a macro irrigation so that there will be saving of water and saving of energy. Because the government, in, sorry, in Gujarat, the water is a scarce commodity, uh, something uh, around 20 districts. And uh, the another future is that no subsidy ceiling. In other states, you might have heard in the general election also, there is a lot of debates on this uh, subsidy ceiling. So in Gujarat, there is no subsidy ceiling. It is as per the unit cost of the particular area. So this is the norms. We have a uniform mode of 50% for all category and 75% for SCST. Dark zone, again, it is a well-thought intervention by the government. It is from the energy department. We have classified some talukas where the water is not available, water is scarce. In those areas also, if you go for a micro irrigation, you will be given extra subsidy. So this is the business-based approach. This is the model. Uh, here is the GGRC, and here is the registered supplier, and here is the farmer. So I am only going to do with IC activity, that is publicity activities. Once he come in contact with, he will uh, approach the particular supplier, make application, it will be processed, and subsidy is dispersed. So this is the how we are processing the application. So online registration, verification at my company level, um, both physical and online, and the issuance of work order. There will be a TPA, what we are getting is a third party, tri-party agreement, where the responsibility of GGRC company, responsibility of the farmer, and responsibility of the MIS supplier company is defined, and we are giving an undertaking on 100 rupees stamp paper. So something goes wrong, that stamp paper will act as a evidence in the court of law. So I am also want to stress here, this is the first time in the country before doing a work, we are asking the farmer to pay his contribution. I think in no other state or the government has a guts to ask a farmer to give a money before doing a work. But here is an example where farmer is happily giving his share before doing the work. So once I get the farmer share and the type the tripartite signed by the respective farmer, I will issue an 25% advance to the supplier company. It is again a major deviation what other states are following. 20% advance to a company who is supposed to carry out this work without doing a work. He is getting 25% advance. After doing the 25% work, he will install and my third party company will go and will, will process for the final payment. So these are the well practices. They were put on record by Government of India, Ministry of Agriculture. They have given a study to NOPCONS. They have also appreciated in 2009 and recommended it to Government of India to follow this model for other states. So this is the level of IT intervention in my scheme. We have introduced a barcode system. It is just like a mall. If you visit my company, I am running it a mall type. You can trace application at any time with simple barcode system. And uh, this year, we are also introducing the principle of Aadhaar. So whoever is claiming subsidy, we are also going for this uh, fingerprinting, signature, and as well as photo online. And off late, we have also introduced the color code system so that one can find the, whether the different schemes we are operating, different uh, systems are there, one can find out by seeing the color of the file. No farmer can come to my company to claim a subsidy. By sitting in the district or by sitting in his home, the supplier company will approach him and make all the entries and will submit to the company. The second is uh, transparency. So I have already told we have our own in-house technology. We are hardly having a five people. We are uh, outsourced from the market and we are getting whatever the latest application is available in the market and we are developing our own uh, software system. Then the effective quality monitoring, we have also a third party inspection for the work done as well as for the factory site. And the fourth one is uh, this geotagging. It is a simple one, everybody knows that. So simply it is a uh, web based application through mobile. My third party will go to a field, take a photo in the field itself and we have developed a software called uh, EG Capture software. So through that he will upload the photos to my central server through satellite. Then. Uh, uh, this is our ex-chairman used to call. We have linked with many services. As many of our senior officers attribute our success because of these services. Once we installed the system to the farmer, we are in touch with him for five years. 
पाँच साल तक दैट सप्लायर कंपनी सपोज टू टेक केयर ऑफ मेंटेनेंस एंड वारंटी ऑफ दैट सिस्टम नेक्स्ट वन इज वी आर आल्सो प्रोवाइडिंग द एसएमएस सर्विस इनिशियल ईयर सो वी आर एडवाइजिंग हिम व्हाट टू डू व्हाट नॉट टू डू विथ रिलेशन टू द ड्रिप स्प्रिंकलर पोरस एंड रेन गन एंड अदर अग्रोनॉमिक अग्रोनॉमिक मीन्स विच क्रॉप यू शुड ग्रो वेन टू ग्रो हाउ टू ग्रो वेर टू सेल ऑल अदर शार्ट्स ऑफ द वेदर पैरामीटर्स एवरी we are giving him a service so this is the result of uh, effectiveness so earlier we used to be around 15000 ah uh, sorry the third one is inbuilt insurance insurance means to through this system we are also providing insurance uh, protection to the system as well as the farmer's life farmers life also it is a part of and it was very nominal cost because the insurance company is getting a huge business from my side so hardly at the percentage of 0.21 percentage we are getting insurance for the system then uh, one other thing is a complaint redressal system there is a toll free number we are always in touch with the farmer whenever he want to ask anything we are ready to help him then the what i have told is the overall cost for the government is nil that is the result so before formation of company our performance was very low in the country hardly 15000 per hectare and now my average is around 1 lakh per hectare every year so uh, but last 3 years we are top on the country we are the first in achieving the target under mis system so this is uh, from the economic side of you we calculated with some rough calculation Uh, we have given an uh, concurrent evaluation study to agriculture finance corporation mumbai so they concluded that 17000 per hectare is the net income for the farmer and based on the my beneficiary so my contribution to the agriculture growth in gujarat i mean gdp something around 4700 crore rupees every year so that's why how you are seeing the agriculture growth in gujarat so still a lot to be done to realize the taqat ek boond ki what our uh, ex uh, cm has told during the formation of this company to achieve more crop per drop as per his vision thank you